give me an award because I'm back again, second day in a row. Another day of UCL matchups and another day full of surprises. Porto beat Juve 2-1 and Dortmund beat Sevilla 3-2, which is probably not the most surprising, but still. Anyways, hey guys, FIFA Pizza here, back again with another video. I'm gonna keep this one short and simple because I have so much other things to do today. So, hope you guys enjoy. As I mentioned, the Dortmund and Sevilla, let's talk about Erling Haaland for a moment. Please. The man is absolutely killing it. Can he be the next Mr. Champions? I don't know. I mean, right now, all over social media, they're comparing him and Mbappe to the next Messi and Ronaldo. Let me know if you guys think that's correct. I mean, they're both young. One is 20, the other one is 22. So they have a lot to live up to because Ronaldo and Messi are just incomparable. However, let's not take away credit from Haaland or Mbappe because like I mentioned yesterday, he scored a hat-trick. But today, Haaland scored two goals and an assist. But not only that, he's currently the top goal scorer of this year's UCL with eight goals in only five games. So far, he has 18 goals in 13 games, and that's just insane. Like I said, he's 20 years old. I was talking to my friend, and I said Mbappe or Haaland. He said Mbappe. I said Haaland. I don't know. You guys let me know, please. Now, let's move on to the other game that happened today, which was the Juve Porto. I think it was madness and a little bit of luck. If you guys saw the game, you guys may recall Bentacur kind of gave away a goal in the first minute. Porto said, thank you. I'm scoring this right now. 1-0 within 60 seconds. Rest of the half, boring, in my opinion, you know. Second half, 20 seconds in, 2-0 from Porto. Insane. I think Juve was struggling the whole game because they couldn't even score until the 82nd minute. Of course, they were attacking and they were playing well and everything, but they just couldn't get the ball in. However, let's not undermine them yet because they still have another game. Today, it was played at Porto, so that means next game is going to be at their stadium. And there could possibly be a remontada, but I don't know what I would want to see because I kind of like underdog stories. But yeah, guys, that's all I got. I just wanted to do a little quick update. Share my feelings on what I thought about today's game. And I want to hear some of your guys' feedback, please. As always, if you guys did like what you see, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see. As always, thank you guys for watching. And FIFA Pita, out.